curious about uh, two things. Uh, first, the absence of President Xi and Putin this weekend and how that might reshape the meetings or potentially affect the utility of the G20 going forward if these two leaders in their, at the highest levels aren't here. Uh, also curious if you have any comment um, on the apparent reports out of China that they're banning the use of iPhones by government workers uh, or further restricting them um, for, for whatever reason, similar to how we've banned TikTok and Huawei. Uh, would that have any effects more broadly on this sort of ongoing back and forth over U.S. and Chinese technology, and how could that affect the global economy? Well, let me start with your first question pertaining to the absence of um, Xi and Putin. Um, I, I think it's important to emphasize that the G20 is a prime um, contributor to um, the solution of global challenges. We see it as the premier um, organization um, that on a global basis is taking on critical challenges facing the global economy and particularly the global south. And I believe the G20, um, in spite of obvious problems due to the due to Russia's war against Ukraine and Russia's, um, you know, general absence from G20 um, initiatives. I believe the G20 has been extremely effective, and um, especially under India's leadership, um, our goals for the G20 have coincided closely um, with those of India. We have tackled very important challenges. As I mentioned, I think we have had considerable success in changing the way the entire multilateral development system is operating, um, increasing its mission um, to take on a variety of global challenges, ranging from better preparedness for future pandemics, um, where we've established a new finance and health ministers task force, a fund, a pandemic fund at the World Bank, um, as well as climate change, um, taking on global challenges along with poverty reduction. Um, we've made over the last year very substantial progress in um, changing not only the mission, but also improving the financial resources of the multilateral development banks um, to perform their critical missions and changing the incentives and structures under which they operate. And um, I, I think that's been an extremely effective initiative um, under India's leadership. Uh, debt has been in international debt and providing relief to uh, countries that are over indebted, um, partly because of the impact of Russia's war against Ukraine, but also the high interest rate environment. Um, I begin believe we're beginning to make significant progress there. So I do see the G20 as a very effective forum. We appreciate India's leadership. Um, we look forward ourselves to hosting the G20 in 2026 and um, even without Russia's um, active participation uh, in the tensions the war has created, um, I still see the G20 is highly effective. China 